Prayer for the Heart of Warrior Showcase. Please get seated as the event is about to commence. Inspiring kids to do things that they're meant to do. It's in their genes to do something like this. And in Australia, something like that's hard to find, but with Haka Warriors, we get a piece of everything here and there. You know, Samoan culture, Tongan culture, Kukana, Māori, Fijian. What's really, really important is that we give these kids this, that space to be able to showcase their amazing talents and amazing skills in their culture. We've had a lot of kids that have asked us, oh, if it's so important, then why didn't our parents teach us? And I guess that's the price of migration. And it's understanding them where they're at and then mentoring them and guiding them through their thoughts and their feelings to identify what they can be. that has been created collectively from the southwest to the greater west. In these times of violence in our streets, and they are representing something and demonstrating and applying what they've learned in the sessions to show the grace and the unity that we reflect as a culture. This community engagement from all different leaders from different organisations is to surround them to share their experiences because they're trying to learn, through, you know, navigate through all these other different experiences through school, through the community, through, through other groups that they, they meet up with. So it's important to have that guidance and mentoring. We need guidance from those who have already travelled that path to, you know, link back in and engage. I better see your chest red as well. I better see your chest red. Remember, big smiles and hype all the way. Yep. Yep. When we look at the people leading the program on stage or in the classrooms with the students, they were all participants and young people of previous programs that we ran, you know, more than 10 years ago. You know, we've been able to engage young people from years ago, build them up as leaders so that they can then go and imp impact the community and their peers. These kids learn about other cultures, not just the, the New Zealand Māori culture, not just the Samoan, not just the Tongan. It's all cultures. That's why we're here to show that we're all one. No matter where we are on earth, we are so many ways we connect as people. Doing this program is just like I'm um, finding new groups and friends and I'm really proud of them, mate. Okay, okay. We came a long way. At the start was everyone was just all over the place and then coming closer was yeah, it was getting better. Yeah. You don't get an opportunity really much to see our people doing good and performing like that. So honestly it's such a proud and like moment for us. What you see out here in the performance as massive as, as they are expressing themselves and the confidence that's coming up. That journey to, to break through and to believe that they, you know, they can own this place, that they, they, they feel they belong somewhere, instead of a, you know, a postcode or, or to, you know, not even to their own family. Just the expression on their faces to be so happy with what they're doing is so important and, and, and I think that's part of that resilience journey, it's part of young people feeling comfortable enough to express themselves. The main reason that we're here is the youth, because the youth bring this, this story, this event, this program to life. Like if it wasn't for them, you know, putting in the hard yards that they have for the past 20 weeks, then we wouldn't be here today, so it's good to, to see them like wanting to be here. Not because they have to be in. Yeah.